hey guys in this video we are going to discuss the different ways to create objects in java so as we know that object is an instance of class and uh, we also know that a class is a template or a blueprint from which objects are created all right so here in this video we are going to discuss five different ways to create objects in java so the first way is using new keyword and second way is using new instance method of class and the third way is using new instance method of constructor class and fourth way is using object deserialization and fifth way is using object provided clone method all right so let's go ahead and let's discuss these different ways to create objects in java so look at your uh, object is uh, instance of the class and it has a state and behavior so state means fields and behavior means methods so we basically create uh, objects from the class so class acts as a blueprint or a template from which we can create as many as objects so first have a look into the first way so first way is using new keyword so this is the most common way for creating objects in java so almost every java developer should know this methodology so for example so look at here student student equal to new student so here we are using new keyword to create object of the student class so this is a very common way to create object uh, prob probably every java developer knows this so so let us see this example in an action in eclipse id so here is a student class it has name and college private fields and here are the getter setter methods and this is the main method and inside a main method i am going to create a student object using new keyword and let me run this program and let us see the output yeah here we go at a console we got a, a output like this student name Ramesh and college BVB okay so this is a very common uh, way to create an object in Java using new keyword so let's move to the second way to create an object so we can use a class dot for name method uh, to load the class dynamically and it is indirectly gives you a class object so once the class object is loaded then we can use a new instance method to create the object dynamically so let me demonstrate this with an example so look at here again we have a student class with the name and college fields and in a, here in a main method we first need to give a, a fully qualified class name so now in our case it's a net.javaguides.coresjava.oops.student so this is a fully qualified class name and here we use a for name method so for name is a static method which we can use to load the class and this for name method returns a class object so look at here the class so class c is a capital here and this is a special class in a jdk and it will provide all the class related information so once we got the class object and we can use a new instance method to create a respective object okay so here we have given a fully qualified class name and uh, we, we should need to give a cast here so that it will new instance method will return an appropriate object okay so this is how the second way we can create the object using class dot for name and class dot new instance methods so let us see this example in action in eclipse id so look at here uh, we are giving a fully qualified class name that is a student class and here we use a for name method uh, to load the class dynamically and once the class is loaded then for name method returns a class object and we can use a new instance method and we can uh, we can cast this with a student object and here we have printed student name and college to the console so let's go ahead and let's run this program and let us see the output yeah here we go we got the output it means that uh, the second uh, way to create object is are possible so, so let's move to the third way to create an object in java so third way is using reflection 
so reflection allows us to analyze a class programmatically so usually reflection constructor is uh, used only if the constructor is private so otherwise we can directly use a new instance method on the class so there is a new instance method of a constructor class which is present in a reflection package so we can use this constructor dot new instance method to create an object okay so we can also call parameter as constructor and a private constructor by using new instance method so let us see uh, this with an example so again we have a student class with name and college fields and in a main method we first declare a constructor class object so constructor is a class which is present in a reflection package so look at here the so constructor class is present in java.lang.reflect package and uh, so look at your student dot class dot get constructor so first we need to get a constructor object by calling get constructor method on student class and then we can call a new instance method of constructor object to get a student object so it's pretty easy right so this is the another way to create an object in java so let us see this example in an action using eclipse id so look at here the example in eclipse id we have a student class with the name and college fields and in a main method uh, not this so in a main method we have a constructor class declaration and we we use a get constructor method to get the constructor object and on a constructor object we call a new instance method to get the student object and we print a student object name and college to the console so let's go ahead and let's run this program and let us see the output whether it will work or not yeah we got the success output it means that this way is also possible so so far we have seen three ways so first way is using new keyword then second way is using class dot for name and new instance method and third way is using reflection that is using constructor dot new instance method so we'll next move to the fourth way of creating object in java so the fourth way is using object deserialization so what is the serialization and deserialization in java so serialization is the mechanism of converting the state of an object into a byte stream and deserialization is the reverse process where the byte stream is used to recreate the actual java object in a memory okay and the byte stream uh, which we created while serialization is a platform independent so the byte uh, the object serialized on one platform can be deserialized on different platform all right so we have a serializable interface in java so we can use a serializable interface to make a java object as a serializable so let us see uh, this with an example so we have a student class which implements a serializable interface and student class has a name and college fields and also has a, a default constructor parameterized constructor and get a set of methods to access these private fields and we have a student demo class so inside a student demo class we have written the logic to serialize and deserialize the object all right so let us see this example uh, in an action using eclipse id and uh, in eclipse id i will explain this example so look at here again uh, we have a student class which implements a serializable interface and uh, in a student demo class so first we need to serialize a java object into a file so we have a sample.txt file okay and to make a java object serializable we have already uh, you know implemented serializable interface uh, using student class now so first we serialize a object into a file so look at here we are using file output stream class and we are passing file path name here so we are creating a file output stream object and we are passing file name to the file output stream constructor and we are creating a object output stream and we are passing file output stream object to the object output stream constructor and the out object out input ob object output stream class contains 
a right object method for serializing an object okay so remember right object method of object output stream class we can use to serialize an object okay and now once we serialize the object then the object will be returned to the sample.txt file now again we need to deserialize this object back to the actual java object so how to do that so here we can again create a file input stream and output uh, object input stream object to deserialize the you know byte stream back to the java actual object so here is the output uh, here is the object input stream class contains a read object method for deserializing an object okay so this is the one way uh, another way to create object in java so first we serialize an object to the file uh, with the byte stream and then again we deserialize byte stream into an actual java object okay let's go ahead and let's run this java program and let us see the output right click run a java application and here we go we got the output in a console so look at here the sample.txt file is generated with some content so it is in a byte stream right so while serialization we have written a java object as a byte stream to the file and while deserialization we have uh, you know deserialize this byte stream into actual java object so let's move to the fifth way of creating object in java so fifth way is using object.clone method so clone clone method belongs to object class and it creates the object of an existing object and it returns the newly created object so the clone method is used to create a copy of an existing object so in order to use a clone method the corresponding class should have to implement clone, closable or clonable interface so clonable interface uh, is a marker interface so let me explain this with an example so look at here we have a student class which implements a clonable interface and student class has a name and college fields and in a main method we create a student object using new operator and here we are trying to uh, clone an ex existing object so here we are creating an uh, object using existing object with a clone method okay and here we are printing student object to the console let us see this example in action in eclipse id so we have a student class it implements a close uh, clonable interface and in a main method we have a student to one object and here we are using clone method so clone method returns so clone method creates and returns a copy of this object all right let's go ahead and let's run this up program and let us see the output so yeah here we go so student to one object has a ramesh and abc and once we clone this student one object and it will store in a student to object and student to object also has the same value all right so this is how we can create a instance of uh, a class in java so these are the fifth ways to create objects in java so if you know uh, another ways to create object in java so let me know in a comment section so i find this five ways to create objects in java and these are the uh, commonly used ways to create object in java so i hope you find found this video useful so if you have any doubts or queries let me know in a comment section so thanks for watching and subscribe to our youtube channel so that whenever i will publish a new videos you will get notified thanks for watching i will see you in the next video